Oh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, this video is brought to you by NewKeyViewer.com. NewKeyViewer.com. So this video, I'm going to focus on exporting from QuickBooks Online QVO to QuickBooks Desktop editions like uh, QuickBooks Pro and QuickBooks uh, Premier. Okay, so uh, so I'm on uh, I'm using uh, Internet Explorer. So for this task, you need to use uh, Internet Explorer uh, 10 or higher. Okay, so uh, so you, what you want to do is uh, you go to upper right corner right here. Okay, and you select export data. Export data. So I'm going to click this one. Okay, so it goes through step uh, five steps. Okay, uh, and uh, in this part one so this is like a, a three-part tutorial video so part one uh, I'm gonna cover step one step two step three and on part two of my video I'm gonna cover step four and five and uh, part three of my video I'm gonna cover uh, you know what do you do after uh, uh, you have uh, compare uh, QBO data and QuickBooks uh, Windows data and if you have uh, any uh, discrepancies what do you do how do you adjust that uh, 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 in QuickBooks for Windows okay so those uh, I'm gonna do three parts all right so first part I'm gonna do one two three as I said okay I'm gonna click this get started get started here okay so uh, normally you want to install uh, this uh, ActiveX so I've already done it. So uh, if you haven't done it, it, you know, it, it won't be it, it won't be great like this. So you go through process like uh, uh, like this one. You know. Uh, so just click the install. Uh, so r right, you know, you'll see the link uh, right below the, the the video, the one you're watching. So you know, I will have this link. Uh, so you got to read this link and the other link. Uh, something to do with the QuickBooks guide to export too. So you'll see both uh, uh, QuickBooks uh, uh, into the links. You want to check it out. Start a little bit. Okay, you just have to click install and go through some process and you'll install, you know, and just click install ActiveX control now. And then just click install and it goes through this uh, user control uh, uh, screen and just say yes and uh, uh, that's that's it you know okay and then you will see uh, back to this screen now so back to this screen okay and click continue okay you want to select all financial data so this one is all financial data without transactions this is a list customer uh, uh, list, vendor list, chart of account, and so on, product and services list. So you want to select the, the whole financial data, the complete file, and click continue. Okay, and I've already uh, done some download. I'm going to do start over again. Okay, so I'm going to do start over. So normally you see download, start over. Okay, so uh, now you have request your data. Uh, continue it okay and at this point you know you just have to uh, uh, wait and just type in your email address wherever you want to send this email just to uh, notify you and I'm just going to continue it okay so just wait for your email and the email will look like uh, look like this It'll look like this. Congratulations, blah blah blah, and just wait for that. Uh, so this is like a, a Chrome, a Gmail. So you know, once you are, once you receive that email, you have to, uh, you know, come back here and uh, uh, log in again. And at the bottom, you will see this here. Need attention. So you will see this node here. So this is the one you want to click, okay? So uh, so next video I'm going to focus on uh, 
what happens once you click this one okay uh, and uh, so uh, so I'll start from here okay all right all right what's our uh, uh, video number two thank you